A mysterious black ring appeared in the sky in Hampton Road. Take a look at these images our viewers sent in. It almost looks like someone just kind of drew the circle on those pictures. People are losing their minds over this mysterious black ring in the sky. And we're not just talking about a weird cloud formation here. This thing has popped up in Hampton Roads, Ohio, Florida, Colorado, and even Vietnam. People are screaming aliens, and it's blowing up all over the internet. News anchors can't stop talking about it. A black ring in the sky appears in all these different places. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews said he had seen these from pyrotechnics before, basically stemming from concentrated fire rising. He theorized it could also be some type of special effect for a film. Of course, they're not sure. They never are when something like this happens, right? It's always, uh, maybe it's fireworks. Uh, maybe it's smoke from an explosion. But no one ever has a straight answer. You know who does have answers? Oh, look at the smoke. What the Dude, that's some alien sh No, I've been seeing that all over the well, actually, I kind of think it's a portal to a different world, kind of a Higgs boson po uh, portal out there. And, uh, you know, you jump through it and jump into some world where everything's different, everything's backwards. A portal to another world? Y'all ever wonder if we've been living in the upside down world already? I mean, look around, the chaos, the confusion, the news every day. Sometimes it feels like we all jumped through one of those portals already. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past the good Lord to start giving us hints. After all, scripture says there'll be wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Could these rings be a heavenly heads up? Something's brewing, y'all. An unusual black ring was spotted among the clouds. And so WLWT News 5's Allison Rogers is here to explain what this was, because Allison, I don't think this is a UFO. Right, no, it's not anything like that. And honestly, it almost looks fake or photoshopped. Yeah. It almost looks like you took some something in paint drew a black circle, right? What happens is the air around the smoke actually is moving faster. And then essentially that's trapping all of that smoke, creating this ring shape. I do know some basic physics and a smoke ring would continue to rise upward and dissipate even with cloud pressure. This thing got denser and was also moving slightly in a linear pattern. Smoke can't do that unless wind pushes it, but wind would not push it uniformly. It would break it up or it would be misshapen. Did you see that black ring in the sky yesterday? Everybody's talking about it. This video was sent to us by viewer Tony Hendricks. And as far as what exactly caused this, well, here's what we do know. A call went into dispatch yesterday saying there was something that sounded like an explosion and then a plume of smoke. Emergency crews were sent to the area around Canterbury Lane and Charles Snyder Road, but they didn't actually find anything. People want to believe in something though so badly. You know, I, I until I see a UFO actually land and people come out of that thing, I just, I can't believe till I see. Oh man, you know, I've heard it all now. Waiting to see a UFO land before you believe? You don't need little green men to show up before you get right with the Lord. We've had more than enough signs and by the time something does land, it's going to be too late to start figuring things out. We did reach out to the James City County Fire Department to see if there were any reports of fires or explosions at the time. The fire chief had not heard of any. Meteorologist Ipandero said it could be a smoke ring from a plume of smoke from an industrial process or explosion. We discovered news articles and social media posts describing other similar sightings. Reports said a fire or some type of explosion could have caused the ring. Let's dive into some of these spicy comments on the video. 42 years on this earth and was a firefighter and never saw anything like this. They are trying to explain it away though. 42 years and never seen it. Now that's what I'm talking about. Real world experience over here, not some textbook theory. If the pros out here aren't seeing it, then it's time to rethink what's going down. Explaining it away won't cut it. Listening to the media trying to explain the rings is just cringe worthy. Cringe worthy? That's an understatement, sis. It's like watching a toddler try to explain quantum physics. They're trying to make pyrotechnics sound deep, but come on, even my popcorn machine isn't buying it. Human logic is literally so stupid. Believing that a fire can create this is insane. Human logic? More like media logic. They'll try to convince you that a campfire can create a perfect black ring in five different countries. Talk about stretching it. We might as well believe the smoke's trying to paint abstract art at this point. People want to believe in something so badly, but they don't want to believe in God. Bam, ain't that the truth? 
You hit the nail on the head, brother. Folks are out here chasing smoke rings, aliens, and portals, but turning their backs on the very one giving us the real signs. It's almost like they're looking everywhere except up. The fact there are people that still believe the media at this point is beyond understanding. Man, I couldn't agree more. The fact that folks are still taking the media's word like gospel is wild. If we keep letting them spin these weak explanations, next thing you know, they'll be telling us the rings are just art projects from pigeons. Did you see it? A mysterious object seen in the western Oklahoma City sky. Faster than that, what is that? March 4th at 7.29 p.m., Steve Aragona outside with his kids. Everybody was playing out front, um, and my neighbor Kevin goes, hey Steve, take a look at this. And we look up and this white thing appeared in the sky. Everybody had their, their opinions on what it was. Not the shooting star. No, it's moving too slow for a shooting star. Oh, wow. That's a UFO. Look, it's separating from itself. On March 4th, SpaceX had a launch from Cape Canaveral. That was at 6.56 Eastern Time, 5.56 Oklahoma Time. Steve saw this at 7.29. Right now, we're facing west. You can see it here on my compass. And we're told the object was seen over there, just over those roofs. Now I know what you're thinking. This was probably from SpaceX in Florida. But if that was the case, they would have seen it over here in the east. I already know what y'all are thinking. Man, that's AI. This ain't AI, my people. Now this is in the Smoky Mountains, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Do y'all see it's like a perfect ring, right? Like what you would describe as it looks like a ring of light or a ring of fire. And what's very interesting is that this year in October, there's going to be a solar eclipse that they call the ring of fire. Very interesting. But let's see how this all formulated picture by picture. Is that the... Lionsgate portal? Looks like a portal to me. What do y'all think, y'all? So as you can see right here, right? It looks like a, a cloud, right? Like a ring of a cloud, which I don't know where it actually came from or how it formed. And so with the sun setting, I believe maybe the sun rays hit this ring and it give the, gave the illumination or the illusion of a ring of fire, but it's not an illusion. That's exactly what it did. So as you can see right here, look. It's like a, a perfect circle of just like smoke. I don't know where the smoke came from or the cloud because I can't really tell the difference if it's cloud or smoke. What do y'all think it is? And now you can see here in the Smoky Mountains, all the way at the top, where the light's coming in at the top, you could see the ring, like shape, almost like a dome, right? Now right here, you can see it's almost, you know what this actually reminds me of? When Doctor Strange does this thing to transfer to another portal. Some may say this might be the Lionsgate portal. I'm not passing that off as facts, just educational and entertainment purposes only. And then again right here, people. I mean, could have been a portal opened up. I'm not saying that's a factly it did. But if I had to guess, it would be. Maybe your portal is getting open. Hey man, this is 2024, times are changing. Now, y'all might think I'm reaching here, but think about it. We've had blood moons, weird noises from the sky, and now this, and you wanna tell me it's just a cannon shot at a Supercross event? Oh please, we've seen more signs than a road trip to the Grand Canyon. Don't let the world fool you into thinking everything's normal. Y'all ever wonder why Jesus kept telling us to watch and pray? I don't think he meant we should watch the news for excuses. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying tomorrow we're all getting beamed up to the clouds in some cosmic carpool lane. But here's a thought. What if these black rings are God's way of ringing the alarm? Are you ready? Are you paying attention? Or are you still waiting for an official statement from the meteorologist before you believe it's time to get your heart right? Now, listen up, my fellow believers. As Christians, we can't afford to just brush these things off like they're no big deal. The world might be out here laughing it off, calling it aliens or pyrotechnics, but we know better. The Bible tells us to be watchful. Jesus himself said in Matthew 24, 42, therefore keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. These are not just random events. They could be warnings, signs of what's to come. Let's not forget what the book of Revelation talks about. Plenty of strange things happening in the skies and on the earth. Revelation 6.12 mentions a great earthquake and the sun turning black like sackcloth and the moon turning to blood. 
Later, in Revelation 8.12, it talks about a third of the sun, moon, and stars being darkened. These signs in the heavens are meant to get our attention. The world might try to explain it all away, but as believers, we have to keep our spiritual eyes open. God is faithful to warn his people, but the question is, are we paying attention? Let's not ignore the signs. We've been given the word to guide us through times like these. These strange black rings and unexplained events could be part of the bigger picture that's been unfolding since the beginning of time. Stay prayed up, stay alert, and always keep an eye on what's happening, not just in the news, but in the heavens.